Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today I'm doing something about this hair. I'm not saying that something needs to be done about it, but it's getting pretty long. Although it looks like probably a normal length right here, it's all the way down to my butt, I promise you. When I turn sideways, this is the middle of my butt. And when you grab it, you can stretch it all the way down here. You see that? Crazy. The shrinkage is real, ladies and gentlemen. Curls are so much longer than they seem. <laughs> so I have to admit that I do really like my curls. I like that it's long, but I've been doing the long curls thing for so long. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, I wish I had your length, how do you grow it, and all of that. So I feel like this amount bad cutting it, but mostly I just want to cut it. Do you guys ever get to a point in your life where you're just like, I am dissatisfied with my life, I need change, something needs to be different? That's me right now. All you have to do is change your hair and all of your problems will go away. And as someone who changes their hair quite often, I guess that makes it sound like I hate my life. But really, I'm such a happy person. <laughs> Anyways, I just, there's so much to deal with, so much of this, it takes six hours to dry, it takes for friggin' ever to condition, and I have to use so much product on it, it takes huge jars of hair dye to dye all of this, like, even for a touch-up I used an entire jar of hair dye. It's just so high maintenance at this point, so... Nothing a good pair of scissors couldn't fix. Also, side note, these are hair cutting scissors, so they are made for the hair cutting. Using real hair cutting scissors are better than paper ones because they prevent split ends, blah blah blah. I'm doing it right. Well, I'm using the right tool, that is. Not necessarily the right technique. I'm not a hairdresser. I do what pleases my eyes and pleases my soul. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my hair. For curly hair, you always wanna cut it while it's dry because that way you can see the length because the shrinkage, as I showed you guys, will make your hair look a lot longer when it's wet. And then when it's curly, it will shrink all the way up. And if you cut it when it was wet, and you think it's gonna be this length, you're gonna have hair up to here, and you're gonna be like, where'd all my hair go? Also, this kind of shows the texture that you want. And I cut based on curl, not based on length. So unlike straight people hair, straight people. Unlike straight hair, where you just wanna cut it all one length, if I had straight hair, I would probably let someone cut my hair and just be like, cut it straight, maybe give me layers. But it's very different. It's a whole different game. For this, you want shape. When my hair grows out, it grows just like, it's just like a triangle right now. And I hate having triangular hair. So I want to add some shape, some like roundness to my hair. I want the curls to frame my face well. So I'm going to cut it in a way that does that. Also, this is going to help get rid of split ends and a little bit of the, the damaged ends from bleaching. Here's a tip. Use a mirror. A that me. So my first order of business is always washing, styling, letting my hair completely dry, and making sure it's parted. Check. Got the scissors? Check. So now I'm going to start with the curls that frame my face so I can know how short I want the shorter ones to be, and then figure out the rest from there pretty much. So this is my front curl. Her name is Jordan. I want her to be at my chin. So you just want to hold it there and snip. Whoa. Goodbye, Jordan. So this is Jordan's best friend, Melissa, and she wants to be the same size. So I'm just gonna cut some more that are like the top layer. So like from the part to the like top. <laughs> lost some pretty good curls. This one was perfect. This is a perfect curl. Rest in peace, baby. But I already feel better about myself. My hair looks crazy right now because you can see that there's just like a layer here and then a long layer. We're just, <laughs> do not leave your hair like that. But it feels it's like light and fluffy and airy and I feel like I can jump around and go and bathe in some lilies or something. <laughs> So I did that all the way around my head, so you can see that there are shorter pieces over here too. Shorter pieces, and then the back has some short pieces. Honestly, I just turned my head, 
I look and I cut. I don't see the back of my head, I don't feel like I really need to, but if you guys need someone to help you, then just ask someone to help you, that's, that's it. <laughs> Do cut your hair a little bit longer than you want it to be though, because especially with curls, when you cut it shorter than when you wash it and then have it recurl again, it will be slightly shorter because the weight of the curl isn't holding it down as much as it is, so it like kind of curls up a little bit more on its own. And just in case you make a mistake, you can always go over and clip little bits more, but you can never add more hair. Except you can, they're called extensions. Anyways, I'm going to do the same thing for a second layer, which I'm not doing any specific parting to figure out. I'm just pretty much, here's a layer, oh, here's another layer. Just, you know, feeling it out, very organic. Let's go in and trim the hedges. Get it? Because it's green, like a little bush. <laughs> oh, this one is so pretty, I don't want to cut it. It's a perfect coil. But if I don't cut it, I'll be ugly. <laughs> okay, let's look at this comparison. So this is, oh my goodness, you guys don't even know how good this feels to feel just like, ah, my hair is shoulder length. It's not all the way down to my butt. And then there's just all of this hair just weighing me down on this side. <laughs> But, it's going to be even very soon. Okay, so now I'm just loosely parting it down the back and bringing the hair to the front so all of my hair is showing and I can see if I missed any pieces and see if it's even and as you can see, like I'm just kind of pulling down to make sure all the long parts come and look right here. We got a stickler. You know what we do to your kind. Cutthroat, this business. And I'm just gonna kind of trim the bottom parts just to kind of shape it out. And then again, just pulling one more time. Just giving the little stragglers. Then you wanna put your head straight. Square your shoulders. Does this look even? Oh, and wearing a lined shirt can help because you can just go across the lines. This actually looks pretty good to me. I want the back to look good, but I'm not going to look at the back. So I'm just going to bring those hairs forwards and just make sure that there aren't some pieces that I just want to cut a little bit more, which there are. Just take care of those. Okay, so now that I got a general good shape going on, I want to make this side a little bit more rounded. As you can see, this side is kind of a little bit more round. Oh. So I'm just going to sort of refine the layers and make it so that there's a little bit more of a gradient between all three of them. And this is why you really want to separate each individual curl and cut it by itself and not the same length as its neighboring curl because that's how you get the perfect gradient. Like this one, no. Separate those, and I'll cut this one slightly shorter. All right, so the bottom layer situation is looking good. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more to the top. So I want the top layers to be even shorter. So I'm going to slowly trim those. And you want to do this slowly because if you trim too fast, you know you're going to end up bald. It's an exaggeration, but you know. And I wouldn't really call this a layer. Just like a few curls here and there get to be shorter. Just the lucky ones. Especially the curls that frame your face. Those ones get to be shorter for good reason. Those are the curls that deserve extra credit. This feels so nice. I can feel breeze on my neck again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I lost 20 pounds. 
All right, so your hair is gonna look a little bit weird and poofy because you did just separate all the curls, and every time you cut one, it's cut straight across, which looks weird right now, but once you wash your hair and they recoil, it's gonna just be part of the coil, so it's gonna look a little bit less blunt, and it's gonna blend a little bit easier. When you rewash it though, if you find some curls that are off, like once they all resettle, then just go ahead, trim it, fix whatever little minor details need to be fixed, and then, you're good. I have never touched my hair so much in one video. Like, oh my goodness. Even in my hair routine videos, I don't touch my hair this much. <laughs> Whew. I feel like 36% happier right now having this done. Oh my glob. Guys, if you need something in your life, I'm telling you, change your hair, get a haircut, do something to your hair. And now that I have this huge pile of green, and some of these are so gorgeous, oh my goodness. I'm going to be posting a picture to Instagram of the hair. First 10 people to DM me your address, I will send you a lock of my hair and a handwritten note. Not even joking. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I also have my vlog channel and my cooking channel linked in the description box down below, as well as all of my social media. My Instagram is kind of popping, so I'm just gonna slide that in there. It's linked down there. <laughs> but yeah, comment down below how you cut your hair, or if you get it professionally done, or what you thought about this video, and I will read all the comments as usual. But yeah, so thanks so much for watching, and I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.